Well, having been here now nearly 20 years, you know, um, we've seen a lot of changes and a lot of history. Uh, when we started off, there was myself in the kitchen, my wife was out front and her mum was actually behind the bar. Now we employ about um, 40, 50 people, um, so quite a number of people, you know, and uh, it's been great fun along the way. The food has evolved over the last 20 years um, in, in a fashion that's a bit more modernised, a little twist to the, some of the old favourites if you like, uh, but its roots have always stayed the same. We're a pub first and foremost, so we, um, we've got to keep the food within the realms of a village pub and, and what the locals and the regulars like. Uh, so very um, local produce, we've got a great pantry of food literally on our doorstep, um, especially through autumn winter time with the local shoots from the, lo from the village even and uh, from the local estates. But then still keeping at the top of the game as well, um, we've naturally got to evolve. So um, it's, it's modern British I would say. Uh, the current chef shortage, um, we work a lot with the local colleges. Uh, we take some of the, the apprentices on and, and, and try and train in-house if you like. Um, even getting people from abroad and bringing them in and teaching them the ways. But the majority of the kitchen have been here. My head chef's been here uh, now nearly nine years. Steve Smith has been here a long time. Um, and then the, uh, the sous chef again is a local lad. So there's a lot of local people where there's been a, a bit more remote. Uh, they've got to live in. We tend to sort of um, train and, and bring people on within, within the team itself. Uh, we use uh, true food products, uh, the stocks, you know, great, the demi-glass reduced down. Uh, it's a fantastic product and uh, it's great when we're doing a lot of volume, a lot of weddings and bigger parties and things like that. Uh, that helps us massively. And obviously it's fairly near to us as well, which is uh, that local provenance is always a big strong thing. Uh, but Mitch, uh, Mitchell, you know, the products that he uses and the, uh, the customers that he's actually got, and they, they speak for himself with a vast majority of Mitch and starred uh, chefs using uh, the stocks as well. Apart from cooking, um, I've written a couple of books, uh, which obviously went down quite well. Both of them came runner-up in the World as Best Chef Cookbook. Uh, the first one, Black Pudding and Foie Gras, is a bit like the life and times of myself and how we started here at the Star and a bit of history of the place and whatever. And the second one, which is uh, Loose Birds and Game, which is a typical chef's title, if you like. Uh, it's a bit more about hunting, shooting, fishing, and again came second in the world, which is brilliant. Very sort of... Um, coffee table sort of books if you like and now I'm in the throes of attempting to write a kids book uh, which is going to be somewhere along the lines of a scratch and sniff and then more of a story so the kids can um, relate to some of the smells that the baker's called Ginger Park in, the, the fishmonger's John Dory etc etc. I've got six kids so you know I've got a great audience to, uh, to try, try it out on so we'll see how we go. We've recently opened a restaurant in York um, which has been going now a couple of years. Uh, I dare say um, 2016, there may be one or two other things crop up. There's a lot of things always in the pipeline. We get us to do different ventures all the time, uh, but it's, it's choosing the right one. I mean, it took me 18 years to do the second one, if you like. So there's no real rush and uh, I'm not going anywhere in a, in, in a hurry. So we'll have to wait and see what happens.